So as I already installed the range vision software, I will right now install the Neo itself. So one very important thing is to remember to always plug in first the USB port of the Neo cable and then plug in the DVE monitor cable because if not you will not be able to light up the scanner itself it means the projector inside the scanner I had to learn that myself I was calling uh, yes the support because I thought the device is damaged but it's really like this is some small thing that is not a problem but is unexpected at least so I'm going to plug in first right now the USB cable and uh, in the small camera window you will see that it's lighting up and next I will plug in the monitor cable and yes okay because of the small resolution you see that the image changed quite a lot. I will have to change the settings in Windows. There is, uh, if you go, I can do, do it from the start. You can go to um, System and you can go to Resolution Change of your system. Oh, that was wrong. And you have to, uh, let's say, not duplicate it. You have to extend the view in the other monitor that is the new projector inside the Neo so okay it should be better now okay save the changes and you see that problem is why the image was so bad it is let's say at least because you have um, a very small resolution relatively to the monitor of your PC in that projector okay that's done we can close it Okay, so right now you have uh, that uh, scanner connected um, and you should be able to set it up. So as I opened up the software before I plugged in the device, I seem not to have it here. So let's restart software <coughs> okay and it's there I could have pushed or pressed uh, update as well uh, update is checking as well um, all the let's say configuration status of the software but in this case as I installed new hardware um, <coughs> I'm more up for a, a restart of the software so Anyway, we are going to right now check the configurations um, in the software as I already used the plate for another Neo. Um, I have it already here. Actually, you can just go here, add a plate, give it a name. There is on the back side of the plate is written uh, the exactly dimension of the points and the temperature where it was calibrated. So. Just type in that uh, size, and in the Neo case it's 163 point something, depending the tolerance of the fabrication, and in my case it was temperature of 22. Okay. I did it already, it's nothing really special, go next. So right now you see the preview window of um, the cameras actually, and um, what is important to check if the cameras are recognized uh, relatively to each other the right way that means if the right camera is the right camera so right should be right in this case my finger comes to the right camera right is always looking in the direction of the scan is right so if you would sit on the projector and look to your object the right side is your right hand so you imagine this is right and it will show up on the right side. So, should be fine. Next step. Um, okay, these lines should represent the distance on uh, the rows from the points. That should be fine. Of course, there is a little yeah, 
turning not both of the cameras will always perfectly align this is more to be taken like some est estimation it is not uh, let's say to be 100% precise it's just uh, want to avoid very uh, problematic distance uh, to the projector that means here you are too far this is when you are too near to the projector and this is the right way and shows how it should look like okay everything here is well explained I guess next step so we start calibration and this is the standard position position is always shown uh, upside here in the window just uh, keep in mind that this I think was the older calibration boards they didn't have this arrows here that it's visible on the calibration board they had um, painted the edges upside and here it's the arrows actually it means the same that means if the painted edges look upside the arrow should look upside as well I have given here a temperature of 20 degrees in the room so that should be fine and we're doing the first calibration snap it's like a capturing of the field of view from the scanner uh, and calibrating size and deformation of the local object so okay so rotate the calibration plate that left side is closer to that scanner so it looks like this okay so maybe not too far if you are coming out of the uh, area where the projector is lighting or turn too much you might get an error message telling you that you are not showing all that points of the calibration board in the camera so let's try was working well so this time the right side should be closer to the scanner doing opposite turn as well don't turn too much keep in mind everything have to be visible it is fine he's right now asking for tilt position tilt position means a different angle towards the projector here is some clip and I can just turn it one more down that should be already fine I guess as well keep in mind don't cover that areas of the points let's see if it's fine okay so road the plate uh, clockwise okay I think we are able to do this like that okay so it's fine by the way don't bother about um, the red areas of overexposure um, you can reduce them here if, if they are really bad um, with that uh, parameter here but in this case it's not a problem it's like standard value okay so what do we have to do we go return um, to original tilt that means okay we have to be inclinated like it had before have it had been before and we have to go with the arrow up because the painted areas are here so we are doing so and we should go to the left corner in this case it's like this I guess the corner doesn't mean you have to really find the edge where it's scannable just go a bit out of the center let's see if it's enough okay so we have to rotate okay and go to the opposite area okay and right now I produce an arrow yeah I was rotating in the wrong direction so I shouldn't have uh, let's say done it and you see that the program is really double checking what you are doing so if you're doing something wrong you get a message sometimes you get more of them like you would like to get but it's like this so I turn it back in the position like I should do as well remember it's shown here go and retie and snap it again let's see if it's working now okay it was resolved I just stay in the same posi position and turn it upside down. Okay, let's do so. It's working. And um, right now.
Okay, so let's go back ups, upside and place it a bit closer to the scanner. Let's go further away. So well, keep in mind that you are here still visible with the points. And it's done I guess, so you successfully calibrated a NEO. It's uh, something that is really today possible for everybody. It's not, let's say, like it had been in the start of the early days. Calibration was really a problem. Sometimes the feedback in arrows was really bad. And uh, actually this become much easier right now. So you can go scanning right now or you can do an access evaluation. Access evaluation means you are um, verifying the turning axis that tells you actually where your rotary table is rota rota <laughs> rotating. And uh, this helps the software to, let's say, put up um, the right area uh, to find the scans to be merged. There is some automatic um, finding of different scan views that will be merged together. You will see that later on, but we can really do it right now. There is a small plate included in the turntable package. You, I will show it to the small camera so you can see it. it looks like this. It's similar to the big plates, but it's uh, smaller and it's uh, actually the purpose for it is to do it like this um, but you are able to do it as well with the calibration board you don't have to change it to that uh, small um, plate uh, or you can do it with the object but this will be part of the next video